Hi, I am Dr. Devashish. I am the senior ENT head and neck consultant of Columbia Asia Hospital Whitefield. I take care of all the ENT and head and neck problems. Well, tumor is as you know any abnormal swelling anywhere in the body. In the head and neck area, it is very commonly and frequently visible by the patient himself or herself. So tumor can be detected by the patient himself or herself. There will be an abnormal swelling anywhere in the head and neck or in the face area. Whenever there is some abnormal lump or bump or swelling in the head and neck area, don't ignore it. Please come and get it checked by our ENT and head and neck specialists and they will take you forward to diagnose the condition. Coming to head and neck tumors, one very uh, it is not all head and neck tumors are malignant so don't get panicky if there is any head and neck tumor if there is any lump or swelling in your head and neck not all of them are malignant but few of them are basically uh, head and neck cancers we see quite often in patients who have been chronic smokers chronic alcoholics or addicted to other uh, betel nut pan and uh, chewing tobacco and also some lifestyle uh, uh, diseases can also cause head and neck cancer. Mainly it is seen in chronic smokers and people who take large amounts of alcohol on a daily basis and people who chew betel nut, pan and other chewing tobacco. Head and neck cancer, the, it is mainly affects your throat inside the throat. You won't be able to see the uh, pathology. The, the symptoms are sometimes confused with commonly occurring symptoms like chronic cough, change in voice, sometimes blood coming out of your cough. Any cough which is persisting for more than six weeks, please take note of it, go and show your doctor. If there is blood coming out of your cough, don't ignore it. If there is a change in voice which is not subsiding with medications beyond two to three weeks, please don't ignore it. There may be some malignancy which is developing inside your throat. Head and neck cancer, well, any malignancy, what we say, we don't talk about uh, cure rates, we talk about longevity. How much of life we can give you once the cancer is detected? Well, if it is, as you all know by now through internet and other uh, websites that cancers are staged according to the stage of the disease, we give your management and we predict how much of 5 year survival or 10 year survival rate is there. So if you come in an early stage in stage 1 with adequate management, you have an excellent chance of 80 to 90 percent of 5 to 10 year survival in head and neck cancers. It is not true with any cancer in the body, I am now speaking only about head and neck cancers. But if you come at a stage of 3 and 4, obviously your longevity we cannot predict a longer period. The 5 year survival may be less than 40 or 50 percent. So try not to ignore any chronic symptoms happening in your head and neck area or throat. You show your doctor, if it is malignant, we can start the management as soon as possible and your longevity will be increased.